everyone, and welcome back to the channel for another episode of Unboxing Series here in the workshop. And on this episode, we have the Transport Trooper from The Mandalorian. As you can see from the box turning, there's different poses of the band. Um, it comes in this typical Star Wars box, the, the black and the gray. And you'll get the different poses on the band for The Mandalorian, that nice sand-colored band. But overall, I got uh, pretty good vibes off this this trooper. I really like these troopers. It's the helmet design that I really, really like, um, especially on this one. Full disclosure, I did get two. One to try to make the Mayfield head sculpt and the other for the Dinger Inn head sculpt because I think recreating that scene would be freaking amazing. And yeah, that's the plan moving forward, which is to... Uh, get those two head sculpts on these guys and see how it looks. But a uh, typical Star Wars box. Nothing too too crazy to write home about or anything like that. But And he didn't come with a whole lot. So I think this is probably going to be one of my shortest reviews I've ever done for a Hot Toy. So just be prepared for that. I mean, we're going to take off this front cover so I can show you the inside, co the inside cover sleeve. That usually accompanies figures like this. Pretty cool photography for that. I like the sparks flying up in the corner. And then there he is inside the box. But let's take him out the rest of the way. There he is outside of the box, all plastic removed. First impressions are pretty good. I like the way he looks. I like that the, um, the, the entire boot's not all plastic. It's just the shin guards. He doesn't have armor like everybody else does. It's just on the uh, upper arms and the shoulders. And then the chest plate and back plates. And then the helmet. Yeah, pretty cool figure. I got a pretty good deal on him. I got I had points set aside and was able to get a really good deal on two of them. So I would recommend two if you can. Uh, but what if one's only all you can do, that's cool too. I'm a big fan of the color green. So this, this Stormtrooper really stands out. For me at least. So not only a shout out to the designer of the hot toy, but to the creators of the show as well, because it was it's a pretty cool suit. It's a pretty cool uniform. But moving on to the accessories. He doesn't come with a whole lot. He's got the blaster pistol, six hands, helmet, base. Here we're going to start with the hands. Again, hot toys. They do a fantastic job with hands. Here's one of the trigger hands. Uh, this particular trooper, it doesn't have uh, the shielding on the gloves, I've, which I've first time I've seen that, so that's pretty cool. And I'm always super impressed with the hand details, the glove details that they can get into this, because it's just very finely, do, very finely done, and it's something I am looking forward to be doing in the future. And he's got two closed fists. Great for punching people, I guess. But it's good to have extra hands for uh, for posing, whatever whatever you want to do. As far as um, getting this figure how you want to um, how you want him to look. But yeah, very good detail work on all these gloved hands. And then we have the open hands, of course, for holding something. I don't know because. <laughs> He, uh, he doesn't come with much. All he comes with is the pistol. And I'm always applauding Hot Toys for their, the details on their hands. So let's move on to the, the blaster. Which is the SE-14R blaster pistol. I believe used by the... Um, mostly by the officers. Some by the, the death troopers, I believe. If I remember correctly as well. And it closely resembles the SE-14C, but on the 14C, the uh, scopes are mounted differently. But a uh, very good detail. There's some weathering on here as well that I really liked. Um, gives it some more presence. But yeah, really cool overall. I like it. I'm glad that uh, he didn't come with another rifle because I have plenty of rifles. So, oop. So if I wanted to, I would I could just give him a rifle, but yeah, pretty cool. 
and we'll move on to the helmet because I wanted to show this piece off because it is really cool there's some great weathering on this helmet as well again I like the green it almost actually kind of reminds me of the halo helmet right now but there's an amber hue that I haven't seen on any other troopers in that visor which is really cool I didn't notice that before and yeah just adds more to this character I really like that a lot but weathering all the way around and that nice dark green military green but yeah I really like the look of this guy he's really cool uh, there's the inside again really cool design really cool coloring uh, props to both uh, Hot Toys and the production team on The Mandalorian then we'll move on to the base now again not too much here here's the nice silver nameplates for a transport trooper we get to peel I'll peel this off yep very satisfying right yeah nice shiny I like these things don't um, I don't put them on the base too often sometimes I'll just take it off the base and then leave it near the figure uh, the bases are pretty plain which is typical I guess um, for the price tag I wasn't really expecting a diorama base or anything like that but, but that clips on there just like that transport trooper and then he comes with the uh, crotch grabber which sits in there yeah pretty standard base for most figures um, you got the imperial flooring yeah. Boring yet efficient. <laughs> but it does the job just in case you need to stand for anything. And it's nice to have the nameplate. So that's what I like. But from here, we're going to go into the first pose and talk about the figure itself. Here he is. Just a quick standard pose that I decided to go with. Um, see the flexibility of the arms. They go back pretty pretty far, or far enough to where you could have one hand grasping the other. So there is decent range of motion in the arms. You do have to be careful of the, the shoulder plates because they can come off. Uh, they are held on by Velcro to the sleeve. And if you are not careful, um, if they didn't glue it properly, they can, they can come off. But they're an easy fix if they do. You just have to glue the Velcro back on. And that has happened to um, other figures, not this particular trooper, not, um, but others with, with Velcro parts that have needed to, uh, to be re-glued because the glue didn't hold. But it's easy fixes. But now I'm going to take you in for a closer look at the details. There's that green that pops and then that red armband. Really cool. There's the holster for the pistol. Which feels a little weak, so you might want to be careful of putting it in there. And then there's the uh, the pleather boot. Unlike the other troopers that I have, which have a full plastic plastic uh, cap. But yeah, wonderfully sewn, wonderfully uh, tailored. It looks really good. That belt is actually attached with Velcro in the back. Um, but yeah, the armor plates are... Greatly, greatly weathered. They look really good. Like they've been used. There's a slight color difference between the helmet and, and the armors. As you can kind of see in there. I mean, they're not the exact same green. Here's the second pose that I had. There's just one similar to, the, to the, uh, what was on the box. Um, I didn't want to go too crazy. Because, again, it's just a, a simple trooper. There's nothing really to go too crazy with. But uh, he looks really good, just like this. And he's going to make a fine addition to the other troopers that I have, the uh, assault tank and the shore troopers, because they have that similar design. And it'll look really, they'll look 
really cool next to each other, as you'll see here momentarily. And here they are, the three of them together. Probably not the best posing I could have done, but I just wanted to show them for what they were. Just standing, and you can see the differences between the three. Um, the only difference was here was the, um, the shoulder pads for the troopers, for the other two troopers, the uh, assault tank and the shore trooper. Those shoulder pieces are held on by, um, by bands, not by Velcro. They're actually uh, a little bit more movable, or adjustable rather. You can get the arms in, in much better positions with the shore trooper and the assault tank than you can with the uh, with the transport trooper. But through design and character, I don't see why you would need to get the uh, transport trooper into the some of the poses that the uh, the infantry troopers would be. Uh, <laughs> needing to get into as far as battle some say this guy just drives a truck so <laughs> but again really cool overall it's nice to have all three of these guys in in one spot because just because of their design are, are so are so similar and they're just yeah really cool really cool to have i hope you were able to, i hope you were all were able to pick them up as well um, now onto the score. I'll go back to the other pose. Not a bad figure at all. Um, I would definitely give him about a seven-ish range. I'm gonna have to go like a seven, seven point seven. Give me <laughs> a seven point seven. Yeah, that sounds about right. Um, there were some things that I didn't care for, like uh. There is a slight difference between the greens. It, I guess it kind of depends on your lighting. A slight difference between the greens of the armor and the helmet. But that's very slight. But the biggest thing that got to me was the flexibility of the arms. Um, those shoulder shoulder pieces, they, they get in the way of moving that arm up. And it it's attached to the to this to the fabric itself. So that that's uh it's dangerous and it can fall off if it's not glued properly or if it might, it might come off if it's you know in a warm weather territory and you're just trying to, to pose the guy but that'll do it for this review again 7.7 .7 is what i scored this guy not a bad score at all he's a wonderful addition to the trooper family what would you score this guy please go ahead and leave your score down in the comment section down below don't forget to leave a like. It helps out the channel. There will be more reviews coming up pretty soon. I am planning a 1,000 subscriber giveaway. Not sure which figure it will be. Mostly depends on when we get to 1,000 subs. Come check the channel out on Mondays because we do live streams on Mondays. And remember, be safe, be healthy, always be kind. And we will catch you on the next one. Thank you for watching.